Okay, so listen, we're playing The Supper today. It's by the same people who made Midnight Scenes, so I'm expecting it to be a little spooky, super cool, and probably quite meta. So I'm really excited. Let's just get right into it. Let's start a new game here. <laughs> First impressions, solid. Dun -dun -dun -dun. It's giving Ghibli vibes right off the bat. Miss Appleton, wake up. Is she on stilts? I'm sorry, Miss Appleton. I know your old bones are tired. Things were so much easier before, weren't they? Before what? There's no time to rest. Look at the time. Customers will be arriving any minute now. And we don't want to keep them waiting with empty bellies, do we? That's my menu. Just take the fire tongs. Can I can I put them on the wax? Is there a spoon here for me to scoop some of the special sauce? Can I put the ember in the special sauce? Can I go to the dining room? Okay. I need to light a candle. I know, it's dark in here. Some light will make the place much more inviting. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Well done, Miss Appleton. Now we just have to wait for some starving souls to pass by. Water jug. She is on stilts. That's so interesting. Go back to the kitchen and see what's up in here. Okay, this is wax. Oh, I have some wax now. Mmm, smells delicious. Do you hear it, Miss Appleton? Horses growling stomachs. Here they come. They're coming inside. Do you think it could be them? Who's them? Them who? Okay, maybe let's go check on who them is. Customers. <laughs> I like his beard. What is on this one's head? Oh boy. Okay. Here you have a chest. Yeah, no, that sounds like that sounds like words to me. These are the men we've been looking for. Let's find them a place to sit quickly. So what would the gentleman like to start with? Deadly shark, mind controlling fungus, and an old man. That sounds like a butt of a really bad joke. 
spicy Ooh. red swordfish, a personal favorite, a mouth-watering oh. delicacy that's healthy as well. Lots of omega-3. Okay, deadly shark. Did you hear that, Miss Appleton? Hand and tongue stew. And you thought this recipe wouldn't be appealing to our customers? I was right. You were wrong. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. What does the old man want? Something normal? Excellent choice. Pigeon a la sauce rosé is our chef's special. <gasps> so that's a spicy red swordfish for the mind-controlling beast on the left. A pigeon a la sauce rosé for the sick old man on the right. And a fine hand and tongue stew for the dangerous looking blue shark in the middle. Of course, all served with our delicious secret sauce. Come on, Miss Appleton, go and fetch the ingredients. And don't forget to check out the recipe list on the kitchen's wall if you have any problem remembering them. Okay, let's go into the kitchen. Recipe list. One wild pigeon covered with special sauce. One blue swordfish tail. Add a chili pepper covered with the special sauce. Everything gets the special sauce. Um, okay. Swordfish tail. Gotcha. Is there another area that I should be in? I guess I don't have any sort of knife or anything. Am I missing stuff out here? Do I need to go outside? Tavern sign, the Joyous Lobster Inn, best place in town for a snack. Wooden cart, I hope you're not thinking on climbing up there. What is this way? Oh. I'm just gonna leave my customers back there. Oh. Airmen. Fisher was. Poor old Pete. I always knew he'd lose his head sooner or later. Is there a f fish in there for me? A boot? Can I pull on it again? Rope ladder. Rope. Can I click the rope? No, she said, I don't know. What else is over here for me to click? Nothing? Nothing. Pigeon. How do I get the pigeon? Can I throw the wet boot at the pigeon? <laughs> oh, she said sorry. Well, I got a pigeon now. Let's finish the dish. All right. Okay. So now that's a pigeon and the special sauce. What a good sound. Well done, Miss Appleton. The pigeon a la sauce rosé is ready to be served. Okay. I th it was the old man who ordered the pigeon. Here you go. Bon appétit, monsieur. Oh. You can tell by his pale face that he really enjoyed his last supper. Don't worry, they're all used to pass out. They are used to pass out in taverns. Hmm. I think it... They won't notice he stopped breathing. They're used to passing out in taverns, I think is what it was meant to say there. I got some scissors. What's this way? There's a lever? Can we pull it? No, she says, I don't know. Jail door. You run this place beside the jail. Okay, Grandmama. Oh, I think maybe the, this can be used to cut the tail off of this guy in here. Yeah. Snippy snip. Are you kidding me, Miss Appleton? You'll never cut anything with those rusty scissors. Can I put them in there? Hmm. 
Hmm. Water jug. Okay. Um, I need a chili pepper. Blue swordfish tail. So I need something else to cut the tail then. Okay, I can't do anything with the chest yet. What's the tavern sign? Okay, let's see if I can cut the rope here. Yeah. Look at you, Rockstar. Okay, what else? Captain's cabin. Let's go in. Oh! The captain is dead. Hmm, I think I know this guy. So casual. Let me taste his blood. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sip. Oh yes, indeed. <laughs> captain Clint McMurray. My, sec my sister's second husband. That's so specific. Looks like you won't be beating anyone up ever again, Clint. Okay. We'll just walk over the trap door there. <laughs> that was a solid animation. Seating looks completely parched. We'll need to find a nice drink. Okay, I've got that. Is it going to grow magically? Yes, of course it will. Give me the chili pepper. Brilliant. So I don't have the jug anymore. That's okay. I'll head up here. Is there anything else I can click on up here? Does he have an arm that I can chop off, mayhaps? I've already been in there, so that means I don't need anything else. Okay. Let's go down here. On the rope ladder. Anything I can do over here? No, it doesn't look like it anymore. Okay, I should be able to cut off the swordfish tail now. because I have the knife. Slice. Very good. Chili pepper. And now special soas. I did it! Well done, Miss Appleton. Our spicy red swordfish is ready to be served. All right. Some random numbers calling me. <gasps> Who had the spicy red swordfish? Which one did you have? Mind controlling fungus? You were the one with the spicy red swordfish. Here you go. Is he licking it? He's licking it. a satisfied stomach. This delicatessen is a pleasure worth dying for. Aha! Do you get it, Miss Appleton? It's funny. Come on, laugh. Ha 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 ha. Get the keys. The jailer keys. Okay. Are we gonna go cut someone's arm and... Oh wait. Did, did he leave his tongue here? Yeah, he did. Pick up the tongue. Okay, so now we just have to get a hand. Which I guess we'll get in the jail. It's a skeleton hand. Can I go in there? No. What was the lever? Can't do anything with the... What can I do with the wax? go prepare the last meal here is 
a skeleton hand do that? Empty pot. Mm. Okay, I can put the wax in the pot. Uh. <laughs> okay, got it. Nice. Delicious. Well done, Miss Appleton. The hand and tongue stew is ready to be served. Wax? Yum. Alright, deadly shark. Here you go. Bon appetit, my cartilaginous? Yeah, cartilaginous friend. That's a tongue twister. Enjoy. Hello. <gasps> Killed them all. Miss Appleton is a murderer. Ah, another satisfied customer. Such a tasty delicacy. Can't help but defeat even the most discerning of stomachs. Well done, Miss Appleton. The service was impeccable. I don't think our customers have any complaints, do they? Great! Now let's clean all this mess before the stench gets the attention of the authorities. He's not hungry. He's not hungry. He's not hungry. You said I have to clean it? How do I clean it? Or can I go straight over to the, the chest there? Mom. Wow. I don't know. Same. Same, Miss Appleton. I don't know. Okay. How do I clean it? Can I do something? Uh... Great idea, Miss Appleton. This will be useful to carry the bodies. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That's exactly what I was thinking. Dum de doom. <laughs> Ten fathoms deep on the road to hell. Yo ho ho, and a bottle of. Oh, here you are. Uh huh. Hold the lever. We've never used the grinder with such large specimens. Let's hope their bones don't get stuck. <laughs> well done, Miss Appleton. You performed diligently. This is so disturbed. What's in the chest? taken a nap and there's a little ghost thank you miss appleton i appreciate all you've done for me at least i'm allowed to rest and so are you just taking a little nappy nap we have so many good memories of you and i working side by side oh you were my dearest friend When those beasts dragged me out from our kitchen, I knew I was done for. Aww. And that's why she's on stilts. The fucking shark ate her legs. I swear I didn't steal that gold nugget from them. I want it fair and square. I believe you. Just having a good nap. While I was anguishing, suffocating inside this chest they put me in, there was only one thing I knew for certain. You wouldn't rest until you found me, dead or alive. I'm deeply sorry you had to lose your own sanity along the way. Please find a quiet place to bury my bones, near the old well where I like to spend time. This is so sad. It's time for me to leave, Miss Appleton. Sweet dreams, my dear friend. And goodbye. They look so happy. 
What a sweet way to end such a twisted game. Is that the end? Yeah. That was good. I enjoyed that. I like the games where you have to go and collect items and then they have a very specific purpose and then you continue to get items after you've used the ones that are in your, your little inventory on the bottom. Really cool. Super awesome. I know this is definitely one of their like smaller games. Um, probably an earlier game. It did say like made with uh, Unity at the beginning. Oh yeah, there it is again. Made with Unity. Um, sound effects from freesound.org. Super cool. Thank you for making it. I really enjoyed that. If you enjoyed this little game, please consider supporting the developer. Don't you worry. I have. We will be playing many, many of the midnight scenes as they come out. You can do so by buying the PDF art book DLC. Thank you for your your generosity. You are so lovely. What a cool game. What a cool concept. Um, yeah, like I was saying, we're definitely going to be playing the Midnight Scenes uh, games. They look super cool, and I'm really interested in learning more about the stories and seeing more from this developer specifically. Anyway, if you guys liked this video, go ahead and tickle the like button for me. And if you don't want to miss out on more midnight scenes or anything else that we're doing on this channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button for me. Maybe click the little bell. Life can get busy sometimes and notification helps. Anyway, thanks again. Bye.